Hello, library friends. I'm Miss Liz. This is Book Bruce, and today's book is The Devil and the Dark Water by Stuart Purton, who also wrote The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. So if you enjoyed that book, probably enjoy this one. Now, this book is a mixture of fantasy, mystery, a little bit of thriller and, thriller, and a little bit of horror. It takes place in 1634 as the world's greatest detective, Samuel Pipps, is being transported to Amsterdam for his execution. Now, while he is on this ship, things begin to happen, and I quote, devilry. We've got weird symbols appearing, a dead leopard gets up and begins to wander the deck, you've got livestock dying in the night, and then people begin hearing voices telling them horrible and impossible things are going to happen. Now, with the detective locked up, it is up to his loyal bodyguard and a noble woman with a secret on the boat to solve the mystery, figure out what is going on before things get out of hand and probably the ship sinks and everyone on board ends up dying. So if you're into mysteries that have fantastical elements and a little bit of horror, or if you just like books that take place on ships, you should definitely check out The Devil and the Dark Water. As a disclaimer, I haven't read this book yet. It sounds like a really interesting book. I know The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle was supposed to be an amazing book. So if you guys are interested in The Devil and the Dark Water, you should definitely check it out. You can put it on hold and pick it up at any library location you would like.